Oh, yeah. Stick got caught in the door. Right, Mike time.
Test, test.
Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, live inside the Daytona Ice Arena as we get set for tonight's third hockey game of the evening, but the first ACHA matchup between the hometown Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Eagles and the visiting Middle Tennessee State University Blue Raiders. Embry-Riddle comes into this game with 12 games played so far on its season, a 5-5, 1-1 record, good for 12 points. They have 19 goals for and 35 goals against with an 18.31% power play, followed up by a 73.33% penalty kill. Starting in goal for Embry-Riddle is going to be number 32, Mitchell Kim, with a 6.67 goals against average and an 8.87 save percentage. Or excuse me, that's a .887. Embry-Riddle in their home white uniforms with the blue and gold trim will be moving left to right across your computer screen. Middle Tennessee in their road black uniforms with the blue trim along the shoulders and pants will be moving right to left and Middle Tennessee will have the first offside play of the game and it brings a first whistle just 18 seconds into the game. Starting in goal for Middle Tennessee is going to be Andrew Smithson. He will wear number 35 on the back of his jersey. Ryan Marks, the leading goal scorer for those dressed for Embry-Riddle tonight, will win the faceoff back into the Embry-Riddle zone. Eagles lose possession. They will move it up to the blue line. Middle Tennessee does. They lose it at the blue line. And here comes Alex Faller down the far sideboards. Faller comes in looking into the slot, backhanded into the middle for... Jordan Shepard and he couldn't find the target. Shepard sends it back down low for Faller. Faller takes a seat from the backside of Mitchell and Tennessee gets it out as far as the blue line. Rolling puck at that line and Barger is able to send it in on the delayed offsides. Eagles touch up and give four check pressure in Faller. Mitchell will settle it down behind the net for Middle Tennessee but he loses possession to Ryan Marks and he will move it up the far side boards but it's intercepted by the Blue Raiders and Tennessee will come back on a slow three on two and they elect to make a line change and dump it into the near side corner after it's sticked away by Mitchell Kim. One touch pass to the near side, it's left by Ryan Marks and Tennessee's gonna get it at their blue line, throw it in on the delayed off sides and Ebner will leave it down low for team captain Brendan Barger. Usiak dangerously into his own high slot, he will send it up to the blue line. Ebner with support maintains possession to the near side for Barger and Embry-Riddle will gain the red line and dump it in just wide of the far side post. It was a non-icing play, so it's gonna continue only for the puck to be thrown up and out of play. 18-19 left in the first period of play. Very, two very different sized goaltenders. The Middle Tennessee goaltender Andrew Smithson as he makes a stick save up into the netting. Absolutely announcing his presence just as soon as he walks onto the ice. He's got tremendous size. And then on the other end of the ice, Mitchell Kim, who is who is vertically challenged, I would say. But that has not stopped him from performing tremendously between the pipes for Embry Riddle when he's called to answer the bell. Embry Riddle has possession in the neutral zone. Chris Barton throws it off the near side boards and at the blue line, UCAC will send it into the crease of Smithson and he retreats it to the far side corner. Middle Tennessee defenseman dealing with the forecheck of Embry Riddle and the Eagles keep it in to the Blue Raiders zone. Turned over at the blue line, delayed off sides, touched up. But it will allow Middle Tennessee to regroup behind their own goal line and they leave it on the far side corner. Now they have a little bit more room to work. They will come up into the neutral zone and at the red line they send it cross corner to the near side. Hard bounce off the corner, almost came right back out in front of Kim. And the Eagles settle it down on the far side corner. They throw it off the far boards. A Couple of Tennessee players colliding, but Middle Tennessee will get it in back to the Eagles zone. Thrown cross crease to the near side half wall. Embry Riddle skates it out, takes a huge check crossing the blue line. That was number 61, Noah Fleckenstein for Middle Tennessee, laying the body early. Usiak takes another check, this one from Butler, and that will allow Middle Tennessee to come out into the neutral zone. Fleckenstein will take a check from Jeremy Kirsten. He received the first one and he's willing to give it right back. 
Eagles trying to get out of their own zone. They're caught in their far side corner right now. And not quite sure what the stoppage is for. But it looks like the officials are motioning towards, if you guessed the pane of glass, you would be correct. 16.39 left in the first period, and that's all it took for a pane of glass to come out here at the Daytona Ice Arena. So we will step back as we wait for the Daytona Ice Arena crew to get that pane of glass back into place. 16.39 left in the first period of play. Still looking for our first goal of the game. We're tied at 0-0. And it looks like we are set to get back underway. Faceoff will be on the far side circle in the Embry-Riddle defensive zone. Glove hand side of starting goaltender Mitchell Kim. 16.39 to go in a scoreless first period of play. This one comes in from the far side half wall, easily snagged by the catcher of Mitchell Kim. Andrew Caputo will be the backup goaltender for Embry-Riddle. And Turner Kaufman making his first appearance in an Embry-Riddle uniform thus far in the season. On the near side, it's Fleckenstein to settle it down for Middle Tennessee. He tries to walk out into the high slot, can't get around Alec Bischkoff, and Emory Riddle gets it out of terror, out of its own zone. Mitchell steers it away for Middle Tennessee, looking for a stretch pass in Collier, and it will not hit anyone, and it will go for an icing play against the Blue Raiders. 16-11 left in the first period, still looking for a first score of the game. Faceoff will be on the far side circle. Blocker hand side of Andrew Smith's of Andrew Smithson, excuse me. Both goaltenders wearing their catcher on their left hands tonight. David Lytle is going to try to win this back for Embry Riddle. 50-50 battle, and it's right off the outside of the net on a quick shot that came from Kaufman. 
Kaufman takes a check, moving it up to the blue line, and Barger has his shot blocked by Collier. And Ebner at his red line will send it back into the Tennessee zone. Blue Raiders trying to come on out. Broken stick from one of the Middle Tennessee defenders allows Emery Riddle to bring it back into their attacking zone. Mitchell dealing with a four-check pressure of Lytle. Mitchell doing so very well, almost falling down back behind his own net. Backhands it into the middle of the neutral zone where Wyatt Ebner sends it off the far side boards and back into the Middle Tennessee zone. Comes back near side for Mitchell. He will send it right into the middle of his own slot. And here comes Middle Tennessee on a three-on-two partially. That's number 91, Kristinus. And he will lose it at his attacking blue line. And now Shannon comes down the far side boards into the Eagle zone. Shannon working into the high slot, still loose in between the hash marks. And finally, it comes to the near side corner out of Eagle trouble. Shannon lays a body on Barger as he tries to get it out of the zone. Good keep in by Middle Tennessee, but it's intercepted by the Eagles. And it's going to be Richard Means to skate it down the right wing wall. Goes back behind the net, looking for a stuff attempt. It's off the outside of the net. Still loose in the crease, up top for Barger. He shoots and scores! Brendan Barger picks up the garbage in front, and the Emory Riddle Eagles have a 1-0 lead. 14-43 left in the first period of play. That's going to be Barger's second, or excuse me, third goal of the season. Good for his eighth point. Racking up five assists along the way as well. Faceoff will come back out to center ice after the Eagles gain the one nothing lead off the stick of team captain Brendan Barger. And now the Eagles have some life. Lee takes a check up high off of number 41, Matt Silcox. And it comes up top for Barton. Barton has his shot, get deflected to the far side corner. Middle Tennessee with a chance to clear. They like to go back behind their own goal line. Silcox laying the body on anyone he can find. Forces Middle Tennessee to throw it back to the near side corner. Lee backhands it up the near side boards. Unable to be kept in at the blue line by Barton. And it deflects over the short glass right at the blue line. Play will stop with 14-12 left in the first period. That sees Embry Riddle leading by a score of 1-0. Faceoff will be right here in front of us on the near side neutral zone circle. Broadhead will lose the faceoff for Middle Tennessee, and Ryan Marks comes right back the other way. Marks escaping to the far side corner, moves up the wall, toe drags into the high slot, passes down low, and it just barely evades Barton. He throws it into the low slot, and Middle Tennessee will take over possession from there. Long pass is knocked down out of the air by Marks. Toe drags into the slot, and it gets right in on goal. It was deflected on the way in, so Smithson had a more clear view on it as it came into his catching glove, and it comes to the near side circle with 13.45 left in the first. Marks is going to try to win this back for Embry-Riddle. Another puck that's just left there on the faceoff dot. It will migrate up to the blue line. Long shot comes in, gets deflected over the crossbar, and eventually out of play. That was Colin Bridges who took that shot from the blue line that hit something before it reached the goaltender, and it looks like it may have deflected off of a white jersey as the faceoff is being brought back out into the neutral zone. Linkowski will win the faceoff for Middle Tennessee. But it's going to be Bridges who maintains possession for Embry Riddle and throws it into his offensive zone, only for Middle Tennessee to send it right back the other way. And it is going to bounce all the way down the ice for an icing call against the Blue Rangers. Slow rolling, couple of minutes here, still 13.25 left in the first period. That sees Embry Riddle still up by a score of one to nothing. Again, Ryan Marks is gonna to try to win this back to Colin Bridges. And he will win it a little too cleanly as it comes all the way back out into the Eagles zone. And they will move it to the far side. And now we have a strange whistle here. 
Not quite sure what that whistle is for. The play was all the way down in the Embry-Riddle zone, but now I see the ice crew coming back out to fix a pane of glass that must have been dislodged during one of our two previous USPHL Junior games that we had before this ACHA Embry-Riddle game. This one shouldn't take too long to fix. 13-16 left in the first period. Players mauling about off their benches. And the three-man crew that has pretty much been out to fix at least a pane of glass, I would say at least once a game, is hard at work again. This time here on the near side corner in the Embry-Riddle offensive zone. And this isn't even one of the major problems. We had a pretty hefty storm roll through the South Daytona area. And there was a leaky spot in the roof. Not sure how huge the hole was, but it made quite a big dent in the ice right where the ice crew is walking across just below that goal line in the Middle, middle Tennessee zone. And we almost didn't have a game tonight. They were able to fix it in between the first two games earlier today. So that's why we're a little bit delayed. Game time is scheduled for nine o'clock. We think we got underway anywhere between 9.15 and 9.30. But good news is we are still playing hockey and the puck is down in the far side corner. And this is stuff attempt right here for Middle Tennessee. Still loose in the crease and finally Kim is able to pounce on the rebound. With 13.08 to go in the first period. Embry-Riddle leads by a score of 1-0. Face-off will stay on the far side circle. Glove hand side of Mitchell Kim. Eagles will win the face-off back. They came off the stick of Jeremy Kirsten. Moves up the far side half wall. And this one's going to be high stick down by Middle Tennessee. Usiak is going to race to that one. Fails on a toe drag around Mitchell but he maintains possession on the far side corner. This toe drag works. He tries to walk into the slot and he's met by a pair of black jerseys and a dangerous breakout pass was sent into the slot. But Middle Tennessee will safely skate it out into the Eagle zone over along the far side. Mitchell fails to get around Daniel Sakala. But the Blue Rangers will have possession in the Eagles defending zone. Sakala with a third chance to get it out. Finally, it's skated out by Kirsten, given up to Usiak down the far side boards. Usiak moves it along. Sakala with a shot that's poked away by the stick of Smithson. Kirsten lays a body on his man on the far side. Ebner backs out, and that will allow Collier to bring it out for Middle Tennessee. Backhands it into the high slot, popped up in the air by Barger, loose in the high crease. And another shot comes in. That one's blocked by Barger. Turnaround by Collier. He fires this one high up into the middle. And this one was going in. And Wyatt Ebner was able to smack that down out of midair and save a goal. And here comes Embry Riddle. Kyle Usiak on the near side. Boards backhand into the middle for Barger. And a diving play made by the middle Tennessee defender. Will settle the play down on the near side corner. But only for Usiak to send it over the crossbar on a late shot attempt with 11.40 to go in the first period. This icing play is gonna be deflected by the skate of Brendan Barger. So play is gonna continue back into the Embry-Riddle zone. They move it up to the near side half wall. And they will still battle for it along the near side corner. Still looking to see who's gonna come out with possession and it's gonna be Middle Tennessee. Wilson has that at the blue line. This one makes its way to the pad of Mitchell Kim and he hangs on to the rebound for a whistle with 11.15 left in the first period. Shots tied at five apiece but the score is one nothing in favor of Embry-Riddle. Broadhead is gonna to try to win this back for the, the Blue Rangers, or excuse me, Blue Raiders. Broadhead will give four check pressure for Middle Tennessee, but Embry-Riddle will skate it out into the neutral zone. This one's gonna be sent all the way down the ice, but Fink is gonna win the race for Middle Tennessee. Play's gonna continue into Chris Barton's corner. Barton lays a body on his man. And Broadhead will settle it down for the Blue Raiders. Eagles looking to get it to the near side. They will. Now they gotta get their break out into the middle and it will come all the way out into the neutral zone working two on two. Kaufman loses possession. Lytle wasn't able to hang on to it and it comes all the way back out for Friedenberger. Friedenberger with a long shot. That went wide to the near side post. 
And Malcheski will have a chance to clear. Silcox still can't get it out. Wilson doing good work of keeping the play into the Middle Tennessee offensive zone. But finally on a third or fourth attempt, Embry Riddle gets it out into the neutral zone, but it maintains possession under the Blue Raiders. Fink lays a body on his man, moving possession into their own zone. They work on their regroup. They throw it high off the short glass, Middle Tennessee does. But it's going to be Chris Barton to settle it down for Embry Riddle. Silcox nearly loses possession, and a bouncing puck will be settled down. And Barton finishes his man along the board. Shannon brings it back for Middle Tennessee, sends it into the middle, but it went off a skate. And it comes out into the high slot looking for a turnaround shot. Goes through the crease, and Middle Tennessee has the equalizer. I believe that was backhanded home by number 91, Nick Christinus. Or excuse me, Christinus. 9.38 left in the first period. We're tied at one. Off the stick of Nick Christinus. Middle Tennessee will finish up their line change. And it's going to be Emory Riddle's top line out right now. Shepard and Fowler centered by Ryan Marks. And Emory Riddle will win the ensuing faceoff. That latest goal coming from Middle Tennessee really silencing a large crowd that Embry Riddle loves to gather here on these Friday night games. Middle Tennessee trying to throw it out into the middle, comes up to the blue line. Butler having trouble with it, and it's going to be settled down by Embry Riddle. Shepard will one-hand it along up to Fowler. He's got a chance down the near side. Fowler takes the shot, and it's wide of the far side post. Eagles keep it in at the blue line, but only momentarily. Ryan Marks has to retreat into a defensive posture to settle it down in his own zone for Colin Bridges. He sends it off the near side board. Shepard deflects it, and it is not going to be touched up, the linesman says. So it will come all the way back into the Embry-Riddle zone. Now there's a discussion between the linesman and the referee, whether if anyone touched it. And they will say that an Eagle player touched it, so a mistake on the icing will bring the faceoff out into the neutral zone at the center ice faceoff dot, rather than all the way down into the Embry-Riddle defensive zone. Players confused as to what's going on. Everybody's set up in the Embry-Riddle zone. And finally, the officials have to come on over and explain the situation. But eventually, we will get set up in the neutral zone with 8.57 left in the first period. Ryan Marks will win it away from Butler, but it's going to be Middle Tennessee to skate it into the Embry-Riddle zone. And they will battle to his side over on the far side half while Ryan Marks can't clear it out. Fowler will have a second chance. He fans on the stretch pass, and he will elect to skate it out himself down the near side wall. At the blue line, takes a slap shot. Slow roller after a deflection gets sticked away by Smithson. Embry Riddle's top line doing good work in their offensive zone. And they have to give four check pressure as they don't quite have possession yet. Fowler intercepts a breakout pass, and now the Eagles can get to work in their offensive zone. Barger steps in from the neutral zone, takes a check, keeping it into the offensive zone. Thrown high off the short glass, kicked along by Ryan Marks, kept into the zone on a third attempt. Finally, Middle Tennessee gets it out. Eagles touch up, good extension from Fowler, keeps the play onside. Ryan Marks with a shot that goes right into the logo of Smithson. And he hangs on for a whistle with 8.01 left in the first period. We're tied at one apiece. Faceoff will stay on the near side circle in the Embry-Riddle offensive zone. Barger off the faceoff in the neutral zone. We'll send it back into the Raiders zone. Kirsten does a good job of keeping it in the corner. Comes out for Usiak. He has it stolen away before he can get a shot off. And Middle Tennessee will send it out into the neutral zone. Fink will gain speed through the center of the zone, but he loses it. And Middle Tennessee has to throw it in on the delayed off sides. That will allow Embry-Riddle to settle it down in their own zone. Pass comes back to the near side for Barger. 
His pass gets deflected, but not before it reaches Kirsten and Usiak for them to send it into the near side corner into the Embry Riddle offensive zone. Thrown high off the short glass, it'll stay in play. Rolling puck gets all the way to the goal line and Ebner will win the race. And it's gonna be an icing play against the Blue Raiders with 7.06 left in the first period. We're tied at one apiece. Eagles will make a wholesale line change. Middle Tennessee not allowed to make a line change after that icing play. David Lytle's gonna try to win this for Embry-Riddle. But it's gonna be Broadhead who forces that play all the way down the ice. It was deflected by Barton. So he has to retreat into his own corner, cycles it back into his own zone below the goal line, thrown off a body, comes back into the far side corner under Middle Tennessee possession. They try to force it in front, thrown off the glove hand of Kim. And the Eagles with good defensive positioning there. David Lytle will skate it all the way down into the Middle Tennessee zone under the near side corner. Drew finishes him along the glass with some help from Broadhead. Thrown off the near side boards, kept in by Barton. He walks in, takes a shot, and it was easily seen as there was no traffic in front of Smithson. And he lets it fly right into his logo, and he will hang on for another whistle with 6.27 left in the first period of play. We're tied 1-1 one one between the Embry Riddle Eagles and the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. Silcox is gonna try to win this back to the blue line. Instead, he forces it down low and Mitchell will have possession. He has it stolen away on a nice poke check on a turning Silcox. And he will cycle it back to the far side corner. Malcheski with a chance to play it. He's working one on two on a pair of black jerseys. Finally gets some help on the far side by Means. Means walks out in the middle. Fowler was there, excuse me. That was Silcox, and now Silcox give a punch to the side of the head of one of the Middle Tennessee players, and now this shot comes in. And Silcox is gonna get two minutes for roughing after battling a little too hard in the high slot of the Middle Tennessee zone. So the Blue Raiders will go on the power play with 6.01 left in the first period. They have a chance to get their first lead of the game. It was Embry-Riddle who opened up the scoring off of the stick of Brendan Barger. Fresh two minute power play on the board for Middle Tennessee. Blue Raiders will win the faceoff back to the blue line. They send it to the near side half. Oh, they got Mitchell at the top of the blue line. Shannon does. Shannon has it. He takes a shot that's blocked away by Kim. Eagles try to hold it on the near side corner. They send it up the wall. Shannon is there to settle it down back below. Thrown in front, loose in the crease and sent all the way down the ice. And Mitchell will retreat into his own zone to settle it down for the Blue Raiders. Behind the safety of his own net with a minute and a half to go on his power play. Mitchell escapes out the far side, sends it to the near side for Linkowski. He moves to the middle of the ice around Ryan Marks, takes a long shot that's sticked away by Colin Bridges. Kareem's around behind the goal line, and it's going to be airmailed all the way out in the Middle Tennessee territory. Mitchell again will settle a rolling puck down below his goal line, sends it up the near boards for Shannon. Shannon dealing with hard forecheck pressure by Ryan Marks. Marks steals it away, takes a shot, and it's wide of the near side post. Eagles almost had a shorty there, and they will send it back into the Middle Tennessee zone, allowing the Blue Raiders to make a one-man line change. Embry-Riddle will change two with 45 seconds to go in the Blue Raiders power play. Wilson will settle it down on the, at the red line on the far side boards, touches it into the eagle zone, loose in the high slot, and it's settled down by Barger, skates behind his own net, taking a couple of hacks, moving it up the far blue line, and a diving play by Shepard will get it out into the neutral zone. 25 seconds to go in the Eagles penalty kill. This one's thrown all the way down the ice, wide of the near side post. And Middle Tennessee settles it below their own goal line with 15 seconds on their power play. 4-13 left in the tied first period, one to one. Pass goes up the far side boards for Freidenberger. Stops up at the half wall, moves it near side. One timer, didn't get all of it. It's off the right pad of Kim. And a second and third shot is gonna be covered up by Kim. 
And the faceoff will come to the near side circle in the Eagles zone. Time has expired on the Eagles penalty kill. And we are back to five on five, even strength play. Shots nine to seven in favor of Embry Riddle, but the score is tied one to one. Eagles win the faceoff back to the corner. Barton sends it high off the short glass and it does catch the ceiling. And it will go out of play for another whistle with 3.53 to go in the first period. Top line once again out for Emery Riddle. Marks wins it back again to Barton's corner. Again, he'll try to send it up the near side wall, and it gets out. Here comes Embry Riddle with a partial two-on-one, but a bouncing puck has to be settled down by Faller, only for him to send it into the corner, so no two-on-one chance was had, and Middle Tennessee will gather the ensuing play out into the neutral zone, stolen away by Marks, and he sends it up the near side boards for Shepard. He sends it right into the midsection of Broadhead, and he will cream it into the near side corner of the Embry Riddle zone. Loose in the high slot, had to be kicked around, by Embry Riddle and they have to just chip it out into the neutral zone. Finally, Barton will settle down possession, sends a fluttering bounce pass over to the far side and Embry Riddle will turn it right back over to the Blue Raiders and Ryan Marks will settle it down on another steal and he fires and scores! Ryan Marks from way downtown catches the Middle Tennessee goaltender blind. Andrew Smithson didn't expect the shot coming there. Maybe he thought the play was going to be called offside, but he was not ready for that Ryan Mark shot. And Emory Riddle regains their one goal lead. They lead 2-1 to one with 3.06 left in the first period. Brings the shot count 10-7 in favor of Embry Riddle. Face off back out at center ice. Eagles will win it back to their own zone. Barton sends it up the near boards and Usiak will chip it into the near corner for Butler to settle it down for Middle Tennessee. He throws an errant pass up the near side boards. Usiak steals it away and he has it on the far side circle. He takes a shot, gloved down by Smithson. Kirsten sends it into the middle but it's sticked away by Smithson and it's gonna be sent all the way down the ice. They're, the officials are gonna say that Barton had a chance to handle it before the goal line, so they waved the icing off. Thrown up the far side boards, Middle Tennessee keeps it into their offensive zone. Looking for a centering play, can't find one, so they move it to the near side corner, eventually up to the blue line for Drew. No shooting lane, so he has to send it off the boards back behind the net. Eagles trying to get a toe drag to work in their own zone. And Usiak is unable to clear it out. This one comes in, has to be sicked away by Kim to the near side corner. Usiak with another chance to clear, throws it off the boards. And a good four check comes from Kerson. And on the far blue line, he sends it into the Middle Tennessee zone, gives four check, keeps it below the goal line. Kerson steals it away, has it on the near corner, walks out to the middle, takes a shot, and it's blocked in front by Cole Drew. Kirsten walks into the middle. He takes another shot, and that one gets deflected up into the netting and out of play. 1.43 to go in the first period. Embry Riddle leads by a score of 2-1. to one. Lytle will win the faceoff back. Bishkoff takes a check from behind, moving the puck down into the corner. And they will both get help from Turner Kaufman. Kaufman trying to walk out into the middle, can't do so. Tries to steal it away on a back check. And at the blue line, Kaufman will send it looking for Justin Hansen, but it went right through him. Hansen settles it down in his own zone, sends it off the near side boards, intercepted by Middle Tennessee, and it's gonna be called off sides. Mitchell was unable to get a shot off before the puck reached the blue line. Clock winding down to 75 seconds left in the first period. 2-1 lead for Embry-Riddle. Off the faceoff, Middle Tennessee walks into the Embry-Riddle zone. Backhanded in front, but it's stolen away by Barger. He sends it to the near corner out of trouble, but it's intercepted right back by the Blue Raiders. 
Emory Riddle trying to find a passing lane, can't get it, and Shannon steals it away for Middle Tennessee. Shannon battles with Ebner back behind the net. Lytle takes a check, moving it up the boards, and Kaufman can't get it out. Finally on a third attempt, David Lytle skates in on a partial break. Lytle walks in, fires, and it is slowed up before it reached the stick of Smithson, and he made a stick save. And the puck over on the far blue line is going to be kept in by Embry-Riddle with 34 seconds to go in the period. Lytle with a good forecheck, had Kaufman in front, couldn't get a pass through. Still looking to get it into the middle, and it's still in his feet. Finally, Middle Tennessee is able to skate it out, and it's Nick Kristenus. Thrown off the near side boards, Lytle retreats back to his own bench. He's absolutely gassed after having that partial breakaway. Middle Tennessee with one possible last chance. And Barger's just going to try to settle the puck down for the last couple of seconds. He's got three seconds on the clock, not enough time. Or excuse me, there was enough time for a shot, but it got deflected away. And the Embry-Riddle Eagles will skate into their locker room at the end of the first period, leading by a score of 2-1. to one.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live inside the Daytona Ice Arena as we get set for the start of the second period between the visiting, visiting Middle Tennessee State University Blue Raiders and the hometown Embry-Riddle Eagles. Eagles will come into the second period leading by a score of two to one. They also lead in the shot category 12 to seven. Eagles in their home white uniforms with the blue and gold trim along the shoulders, elbows, and waist will be moving right to left across your computer screen to start the second period. Middle Tennessee in their road black uniforms with the blue trim along the shoulders, elbows, and waist with a lightning bolt down the side of the pant and socks will be moving in the opposite direction left to right across your computer screen. No changes in goal. Mitchell Kim remains in between the pipes for the Eagles and his counterpart Andrew Smithson will stay in the crease for Middle Tennessee. 20 minutes up on the board. No carryover penalties nor power plays. We will start this second period five on five at the center ice faceoff circle. Eagles will win the opening faceoff, but Faller gives possession up to the Blue Raiders and they will play tennis out in the neutral zone with it. Middle Tennessee finally has possession in their own zone. Shannon sends it out to the red line. Ryan Marks takes a check, moving it back for Ebner. Stretch passes on the tape for Shepard. At the blue line, he will send it into the near side corner around the boards. Marks settles it down. Mitchell steals it away for Middle Tennessee. Shannon with a chance to clear on the near side half wall. Can't quite do so just yet. And we will have a penalty up against, not quite sure who. Looks like it's gonna be number 10 for Middle Tennessee. That's Connor Linkowski. Just 36 seconds into the second period of play. And it is an interference penalty. So Embry-Riddle will have a power play chance. on this fresh sheet of ice to start the second period. Top line stays out for Embry-Riddle. Marks centering Faller and Shepard. Ebner and Barger manning the blue line. At the blue line, Barger fires a slap shot that's padded away by Smithson. Barger has it again at the blue line, sends it to the far half wall. Shepard walks in slowly to the slot, fires it off the far side post, gets the rebound up to Barger who sends it near side for Ebner. At the blue line, sends it to the half wall. Marks loses possession momentarily, sends it back along the half wall, takes a check doing so. Ebner at the blue line, sends it on the delayed offside. Barger touches up, holds up on the slap shot on the whistle, and brings the face off out into the neutral zone with 134 left in the Embry-Riddle power play. One oh three gone in the second frame. Only line change for Embry Riddle thus far has been on defense. Middle Tennessee will send it up to the neutral zone. That one's going to be gloved down by Bridges. He will send it up to Mark. Stutter steps at the blue line, gets it to Shepard, who skates into the near side corner, walks along the goal line, pass into the middle, and it gets deflected to the far side. Barton steps in from his blue line position. Gets help from Shepard, and he will back in it up to the blue line for Bridges. Bridges at the blue line gives it back to Shepard. They play catch on the far blue line, and Bridges will send it in for Barton. Or at least it was going to be for Barton until he turned back to the blue line, and now Fowler has to battle in the corner for possession. Working one on two on the power play, finally gets some support. Ryan Marks gets it up to the blue line for Barton. 50 seconds to go on the Eagles' power play. Near side, Bridges with a shot. Rebound in the crease, still loose in the slot. Backhanded in for a goal and Andrew Shepard. Excuse me, that's Jordan Shepard firing that rebound on the backhand. And the Eagles have their first power play goal of the game. They lead two goals. It's a 3-1 lead for Embry-Riddle. 18.06 left in the second period. Shots now doubled for Embry-Riddle. They lead 14-7 and lead three to one on the scoreboard over Middle Tennessee. 
bridges off the ensuing faceoff will settle it down and Embry-Riddle comes right back into the middle, middle Tennessee zone. Blue Raiders will regain possession themselves, deflect it out into the neutral zone. And the Eagles send it right back the other way. Kirsten with a chance to get it, can't quite find it. And an errant, def errant pass is deflected into the far corner of the Embry-Riddle zone. Eagles will skate it up the near side boards. Connor laps, will give possession to Kirsten. And now we're looking at a penalty once again. And this one's gonna go against Embry-Riddle, number 12, Connor Laps is gonna go into the penalty box. Looks like it was two minutes for a holding. So now Middle Tennessee will have their crack at the power play to try to get back within one. Lytle and Bishkoff will be the forwards out on this penalty kill unit along with Wyatt Ebner. And Chris Barton, this one loose in the crease off a pad save by Kim, does get all the way out into the Middle Tennessee zone out of danger. Middle Tennessee working on their power play breakout. Saucer pass had a little too much on it. And Barger will send it right back where it came from behind the Middle Tennessee net. Shannon dealing with hard forecheck pressure of Lytle may have gotten a wet patch on the ice back behind the goal line as well. But nonetheless, the Blue Raiders will come out into the Embry-Riddle zone. Down the near side boards, the shot. Good stick save made by Kim on the long stretch. Gets the puck over to the far side, and now it's a foot race, and Wilson is going to win it for Middle Tennessee. Sends it to the near side for Broadhead. He will settle it down with some light forecheck pressure coming from Lytle. He sends it off a deflection off the far glass. Now Middle Tennessee having trouble trying to get it out of their own zone. They have one minute left on their power play. Mitchell sends it over and, a, and Silcox got the worst of that hit trying to lay body on body. Silcox on another back check, misses the puck and Shannon still has possession. Shannon has his toe drag work on Silcox, but it's not gonna work on Lytle and he will send it the length of the ice again. 40 seconds to go on the Eagles penalty kill. Mitchell on the far side for Middle Tennessee. He will leave it for Broadhead. Here comes Middle Tennessee on a three on two. Left in the high slot, looking for Friedenberger. He takes a shot, still loose in the crease. Mitchell Kim is down and the puck goes behind the net to the near side corner. Blue Raiders have the puck in the high slot, looking for a quick turnaround shot. They only got 15 seconds left on their power play. Rimmed hard around the far side glass and all the way down the ice. Emery Riddle gets it out of their zone with 10 seconds to go on their penalty kill. One last chance for Middle Tennessee on this power play. They move it down the far side. This shot comes in, and now Kim takes a stick up high from his own man. He was out of the crease. Lee didn't have a good shot from the blue line. And now Silcox will airmail it out into the neutral zone looking for Kaufman, but Lee will send it right back into Eagle territory for Middle Tennessee. Thrown off the glass on the far side. Blue Raiders can't touch it. Now they will. Didn't want to take a too many men on the ice penalty. They were making their line change. Over on the far side, shot comes in, sticked up to the glass behind the net by Kim. Turnaround shot from Broadhead, he didn't get anything on it. Silcox has it stolen away. Barger takes a tumble, Broadhead still has possession, but he loses his stick, and he will yield the play to Silcox. He gets it out for Kaufman. Kaufman working one-on-one, -on -one. he takes a shot right into the logo of Smithson, and he will hang on for a whistle with 14.47 left in the second period. Embry-Riddle leads by a score of 3-1, shots 15-10 in favor of the Eagles as well. Faceoff will stay on the near side circle in the Embry-Riddle offensive zone. Top line once again out for Embry-Riddle. Ryan Marks is going to try to win this one back for Bridges. Gets through Shepard, but he gets it right back. He fires a shot. That one didn't miss the crossbar by much. Kareem's up to the near blue line. This slow one comes through the crease. And Smithson will let it go to the far corner. Rimmed around the near side boards for Collier. Collier has it stolen away, thrown into the middle for Shepard. He toe drags a shot to the high corner on the near side. And Shepard fires another one in behind Andrew Smithson and Emery Riddle has a four to one lead. Just over five minutes gone in the second period of play.
changing the angle ever so slightly on the toe drag. Jordan Shepard was able to fire it over the near side blocker of Smithson and puts it right into the back of the net. It is now a three goal lead for the Eagles. Pass up the far side, boards looking for Usiak, gets deflected into the middle Tennessee zone. They send it right back out into neutral ice. Linkowski comes in on the offsides with 14.06 left in the second period. Faceoff will come back out into neutral ice. Ryan Marks picks up an assist on the Jordan Shepard goal, his second of the game. Kirsten will force this past Linkowski, gets the puck up to Usiak. He's got speed on the far side. Usiak takes a backhander into the glove hand of Smithson, and he hangs on for a whistle with 13.58 left in a second period. Shots 16 to 10 in favor of Embry Riddle. Face off on the far side circle, glove hand side of Smithson. Middle Tennessee trying to get a clear on the face off when they can't get it, and the shot gets deflected by Kerson up to the near corner. Gets rimmed around the board, so the far side, Barton steps in to keep it in, throws it below the goal line. Kerson fell down behind the play, keeps the puck below the goal line. Kerson with a stuff attempt right through the crease, and Usiak was unable to get a one-timer on it. Laps will send it back for Usiak. Fails on a toe drag, and now Shannon has a chance to skate it out for Middle Tennessee. Good diving play from Laps, and at the red line, he will send a second effort in on a delayed offsides. Eagles touch up, and Usiak comes in on forecheck pressure. Usiak falls down on the play. Errant pass comes up to the blue line, and Connor Laps will rim it back. And the Eagles will have possession on the far side corner in their offensive zone. Trying to throw it back down low for Usiak. Kerson knocks down Usiak along with Broadhead, the intended target of that body check. Pace is starting to slow down a little bit here on this long shift for both of these teams. The long change on the second period can really slow the pace of this game down. Middle Tennessee will change two of its players. We'll see if Pace starts to pick back up. Here comes Usiak into the high slot. He fires a shot and he scores. Embry Riddle extends their lead to 5-1 off another beautiful shot in the high slot. This one coming off the stick of Kyle Usiak over the glove hand of Andrew Smithson. Brings a shot total to 18-10 in favor of Embry Riddle and right now it is all Eagles all over the place here in this second period. 12.41 to go in the second period. It is now a five to one lead for Embry Riddle over Middle Tennessee. And the Eagles will still have possession off the faceoff over on the far side. Kaufman took a check right in front of his own bench moving the puck into the offensive zone. Lytle can't maintain possession, so the Blue Raiders have a chance to skate it out into the neutral zone. This centering pass barely had anything on it, but it does come all the way to the Embry-Riddle blue line. Friedenberger skates it into the near half wall, skates into the corner, sticked away by Ebner at the last second. Now Dean, she will send it over to the far side. Dean looking to get it up in the high slot, leaves it for her teammate, and a slap shot comes in, and now that was Bishkoff leaving it for Lytle. Here comes Embry Riddle down the near side boards, deflected away by the leg of Dean. Kaufman battling hard over on the far side. Embry Riddle can't get possession, but it's over skated by Middle Tennessee. And Lytle has it at the offensive blue line, walks into the high slot, sends it into the near corner, taking a check doing so. Still looking for possession out of the near side corner. 11.30 to go in the second period. Officials starting to move in closer and closer. We'll see if they blow the whistle for a stoppage of play. Still no whistle yet. Finally, Middle Tennessee drags it out and they have a two on two back down the near side boards. Here comes Fink. He stops up as he crosses the blue line. Fails on a toe drag. Good defensive work from Wyatt Ebner. Keeps him to the outside, thrown high off the short glass and back out into the neutral zone. And Drew will settle it down in his own Middle Tennessee defensive zone. Lytle steps up, almost too many men on the ice for Embry Riddle. But Richard Means will send it 
into the far corner, rimmed around to the near side by Middle Tennessee. Malcheski will send it back where it came from on the near corner. Up top for Ebner, he takes the shot, there's no traffic in front. And now we have two cages that have been stuck together. Malcheski had his face mask tangled up with Jacob Fink's face mask. That's something you don't see every day. So that brings a whistle with 10.42 left in the second period. Embry-Riddle still leads by a score of five to one. Silcox wins the faceoff, tries to force it down low, and it's intercepted by Middle Tennessee. They get it out into the Eagles defensive zone. Eagles will send it up the near side boards. Butler keeps it in. Wilson gives some help, but that, that shot from the blue line gets deflected out into the neutral zone. Sent right back into the Eagles defending zone on the delayed off sides. Middle Tennessee touches up and gives four check pressure. Thrown up the far side board. Silcox slow to the bench, maybe shaken up on a late hit. Finally, he makes his way to the bench and now there's a stretch pass option for Embry Riddle. Malcheski's just gonna move it to the far side and a three on two back the other way. Here comes Means, he fires a shot, rebound is loose in the low slot. And Butler has it on the far side, half hole. He gets a pass up to the neutral zone for Fleckenstein. He gets around his man for Middle Tennessee, takes a long shot, in and out of the glove of Kim. He thought he had it, rebound is loose in front of him. Still, it's loose and finally he's able to pounce on the rebound with 9.47 left in the second period. First real shot that Mitchell Kim has seen so far and I would say the last seven minutes of play, we're halfway through the second period. And now halfway through the game, we're gonna have a goaltending change. Mitchell Kim is gonna come out. He will be replaced by Andrew Caputo. This is gonna be Caputo's first action of the season for Embry-Riddle. Barton off the faceoff in his own zone, sends it to the near side. Embry-Riddle has a chance to skate it out. They throw it high off the glass, looking for Faller, didn't find him. Middle Tennessee trying to bring it right back the other way. Shannon comes down, he takes a check from Barton and that's gonna be a penalty against Embry-Riddle. Chris Barton's gonna be tripped up now. Shannon's gonna take the retaliation penalty. Nine twenty-nine. Nine twenty-nine to go in the second period, and it was going to be a Middle Tennessee power play until Shannon came in and tripped up Barton after the penalty was already being called against him on that late hit. So we'll see if this stays four on four or five on five. It will be four on four, and it's gonna to be to the glove hand side of Andrew Caputo. Kristinus loses the faceoff. Ryan Marks gets it back to the near corner. Barger takes a check, maintaining possession for Emory Riddle. He kicks it up to Ryan Marks. They got a possible three on two back the other way. Marks gaining speed right through center ice, cuts down the far side wall looking for a shot, throws it into the middle and no one was home. And Middle Tennessee will airmail it all the way down the ice. Will it have the legs to reach the goal line for an icing? It will not. Play's gonna continue. Barger will send it to the near side for Marks. Gives it right back to Barger and one touches to the near side for Faller. Faller with patience. Finally skates over the blue line of the Middle Tennessee zone, takes a long shot held on the blocker by Andrew Smithson. 124 left of some four on four play, 852 left in the second period. That sees Embry Riddle leading by a score of five to one. Face off still on the far side circle. Kaufman wins it back. Barger with a shot into the glove hand of Smithson and he hangs on for a whistle. No rebound given up on that one.
Middle Tennessee will win the faceoff. They retreat back behind their own net. Dylan Lee comes out the near side, fakes it to the far side, and now does send it. And Barger will send it right back where it came from, throws it on goal, gets deflected back behind the net. Middle Tennessee has to settle it down off the back of the net. One minute to go on four on four play, and the Blue Raiders will come out into the neutral zone. At the red line, they nearly fumble the puck, and they will send it into the near corner. Barger trying to get possession for Embry-Riddle. Forces his man to the boards and backhands it off the glass. Bouncing puck settled down by Mitchell and he will backhand it right back into the Embry-Riddle near side corner. Passes it up to the blue line. Lee sends it back for Mitchell. He's got Fink on the near side. Fink escapes down below the crease and he almost had that pass on the near side but it went under his stick and this one's thrown off the midsection of Mitchell. Keeps it into the Embry-Riddle defending zone. Friedenberger walks in off the boards, takes a shot that's blocked by the leg pad of Ebner. And Jordan Shepard will throw it high off the glass. This one is signaled for an icing call, rolling all the way to the goal line. And with nine seconds to go on the four on four, Embry Riddle's gonna have to deal with an icing play. They've got four tired legs out on the ice. Middle Tennessee's gonna make a wholesale line change. In nine seconds, we'll be back to five on five play currently 7.37 left in the second period of play. Shots 19 to 12 in favor of the Eagles over the Blue Raiders. At the blue line, Wilson has a faceoff win, comes in, Caputo with a shot block. And the Eagles will send it all the way out on the stick of Kaufman. Kaufman sends it up to the blue line off a deflection looking for Shepard. And Middle Tennessee will send it back out into the neutral zone. Barger trying to get around a pair of black jerseys, does so only momentarily. Middle Tennessee gets it right back out into the neutral zone. They send it all the way into the Eagles zone. Continued high off the short glass along the far side. Middle Tennessee settles it down in the neutral zone again. At the red line, they send it wide to the near side post. Deflects off the boards to the far side corner where Barger sends a fluttering air mailed pass up to the neutral zone for UCAC. Usiak working one on three, fails on the toe drag, but he's gonna maintain possession on the near side corner, forced down low looking for Sakala, but he's fresh off the bench and wasn't able to get to the puck yet. Colin Bridges retreats into his own zone, gathering this clearing attempt for Middle Tennessee, rims it around to the near side looking for Usiak. Stick check works on one man, but Wilson in the neutral zone sends it back on the delayed off sides. Blue Raiders touch up and the Eagles will send a pass into the middle that gets deflected, kept into the zone by Middle Tennessee. Usiak with another stick lift, coming in three on two. And Butler with a good back check will skate it out to the red line, but that's as far as he'll get before it's stolen right back by Usiak. Usiak brings it in for the Eagles, gets around one man, passes into the middle, and Laps is gonna have, or excuse me, that's Bridges. He's gonna have to come in off the blue line to keep it under Eagle possession. Kerson retreating to a defensive posture to protect him, but he can't keep it in. It's gonna be an icing play against the Blue Raiders. 5.53 left in the second period of play. We'll have a face-off in the Embry-Riddle offensive zone. It is a 5-1 to one lead for Embry-Riddle. Face-off will be on the near side circle. Blocker hand side of Smithson. Kerson's gonna try to win this face-off back for Embry-Riddle, can't do so. Butler wins it for the Blue Raiders. Rimmed around to the far side. UCX steps in on good anticipation, but the Eagles can't keep it in their offensive zone. Barton trying to settle a rolling puck down right in front of the MTSU bench. Moves it to the near side. Trying to be given right back to Barton, but it's intercepted by the Blue Raiders. And now they battle for possession on the near side corner. No one has it yet. It's Caught along the boards where the Zamboni comes onto the ice. Pass comes into the middle for Mitchell. Gets around one man. Tries to backhand it into the middle. Looking for a stuff attempt. Finally comes up to the blue line. Dean with a shot. That gets deflected up into the netting and out of play. And the faceoff will come all the way out into the neutral zone. 5-10 left in the second period. Shots 19-14 in favor of Embry-Riddle.
And now after a discussion between all three officials, looks like the faceoff is gonna stay in the Embry-Riddle defensive zone on the far side circle. Blocker hand side of Andrew Caputo. And now I see the confusion here. Barton has picked up a penalty for Embry-Riddle, so it's a fresh two minute power play for Middle Tennessee. This shot coming in off a faceoff win barely had anything on it. So it gets steered to the near side corner. So Middle Tennessee with a fresh two minute power play to try to get themselves some sort of momentum here at the closing minutes of the second period. Shannon with a shot, pad save Caputo, and it gets steered to the far side. This one comes in and it gets deflected, or it may not have been deflected, but it was a good screen in front of Caputo. And it just snuck past his glove hand and Middle Tennessee has their second goal of the game. It is now five to two with 4.46 left in the second period. Power play goal for Middle Tennessee gives them some life, quiets the hometown crowd here. That is once again, five or six deep all the way around the arena. Lytle will win the face off back. Looking for Barger was Means but it went just past him. Barger gets it out into the neutral zone on a second effort, and Shannon will settle it down for the Blue Raiders. Pass intercepted by Bishkoff. Backhands it along for Lytle down the near side. Takes a slap shot right into the midsection of Smithson, and he hangs on, gives up no rebound, and will have a face off on the near side circle again in the middle Tennessee defending zone. 4.27 to go in the second period. Kaufman will win the faceoff back. This one comes right in and a backhander save is made by Smithson. And Middle Tennessee will send it up the near side boards. Malcheski looking for a play in front. Kaufman has it on the near side corner, rimmed up the boards by Middle Tennessee. Eagles keep it in. Malcheski again sends it down into the corner, but it gets deflected and eventually sent all the way down the ice by Middle Tennessee. It will not make it to the goal line. Play is going to continue. Laps will rim it around the near side boards looking for Malcheski. Intercepted by Broadhead and he sends it right back into the Eagle zone. Over on the far side, here come the Eagles. They give possession right up at the red line and the Eagles are able to get it right back after some bodies colliding in the neutral zone. Delayed off sides at the blue line will be touched up and it will bring a face off out into the neutral zone and it'll bring out Embry Riddle's top line with 3.38 to go in the second period. Middle Tennessee, Having an answer for the four straight goals that Embry-Riddle has scored since the late first period. They pick up their second goal of the game, but they still trail by three. It is a five to two lead for Embry-Riddle over Middle Tennessee. Long shot from the red line gets deflected up into the netting and will have a face off on the same side of the ice, but all the way down into the Middle Tennessee defending zone. Shot still 19-14 in favor of the Eagles. Marks will win the faceoff back. Fowler has his shot slowed up in front. Fowler has it in the high slot, turns and fires, and it gets sticked to the far side corner by Smithson. Shepard has the puck stolen away, but it's overskated by Middle Tennessee, and Shepard will send it right back in below the goal line. Fowler trying to get possession for Embry Riddle. Two a side battle below the net, comes out to the crease for Ryan Marks, and he can't quite get a shot off. Faller trying to gather the loose puck in the high slot, settled down by the Blue Raiders, and they rim it around the near side boards looking for Fink, and it does come out into the neutral zone, only for a back checking marks to give possession to Embry Riddle. Bridges will send it into the near side corner. Embry Riddle trying to make it work in their offensive zone. 2.44 to go in the second period. Mark sends it up to the blue line for laps. He fires a shot, deflected a couple of times, and it comes to the near side corner after it went wide of the far side post. Wilson takes a body, gives possession to Marks. He takes a sharp angle shot, still bouncing around in the crease. Pad save is made by Smithson, and middle Tennessee defenseman is able to send it, but it gets deflected off a of partition, but it doesn't matter as the net has been knocked off of its pegs. So a whistle comes with 2.23 to go in the second period. Embry Riddle leads five to two.
Kirsten is going to try to win this one back for Embry Riddle. He's got Barton on the near side blue line, and he's got Brendan Barger over on the far side. Puck slowly bouncing up to the blue line, so Barger's going to have to retreat into the neutral zone. Middle Tennessee at the blue line, close to being offsides, and they will call them offsides. So a quick whistle will bring the clock stopped at 2.14 to go in the second frame. Middle Tennessee will win the faceoff, but it goes all the way back into their own zone. Backhanded high through the air, comes to the blue line. Good split there from Collier, keeps the play on side as Fleckenstein came in with the puck, almost caught Middle Tennessee offside. Barger has possession for Embry Riddle over on the far side corner. Thrown into the high slot, bouncing puck, given up to Middle Tennessee, no hand passes. Embry Riddle will touch up, and Barger now has a two on two. He's got Usiak on the far side. Barger gets around the defenseman, thrown into the middle, and Kyle Usiak gives Embry Riddle their four goal lead right back. It was Brendan Barger with a beautiful move, completely turning the middle Tennessee defender inside out, and Usiak, the recipient of a beautiful backdoor pass. And Embry Riddle leads by a score of six to two with 138 left in the second period. Embry Riddle's sixth goal of the game coming on their 22nd shot so far. Still have 98 seconds to go in the second period. Lytle will win the ensuing faceoff back. Ebner moves it far side for Bridges, and it comes all the way up to the far blue line for Means. Stolen away by the Blue Raiders. Back comes Shannon, streaking down the far side boards, cuts into the middle, takes a sharp angle shot, comes through the crease to the near side corner. Shannon forces it back down low, looking for Linkowski. Linkowski sent down to the ice, gets right back up, still has possession, but it is stolen away by Lytle, and Embry Riddle has a partial three on two. Lytle with speed down the near side boards over the blue line, takes a shot, gets deflected, and it goes over the crossbar off the glove hand of Smithson. Shannon moves it into the neutral zone, and the Blue Raiders come in over the blue line. Eagles with a good stick at the blue line will send it back into the neutral zone. Middle Tennessee sends it. All the way back into Embry Riddle territory on the delayed off sides. Ebner sends it off the near side. Blue line. Lytle gets around his man. And Lee will settle possession down for Middle Tennessee at the blue line. Lee tries to get the puck off the boards, but it's a little too high. And it goes into the penalty box area. 37.6 seconds to go in the second period. Faceoff will be in front of the Embry Riddle bench on the far side of the neutral zone. Middle Tennessee will send the rolling puck all the way down into the Embry Riddle zone. Barton dealing with hard forecheck pressure, sends it to the far side. And Embry Riddle gets it out into the safety of the neutral zone. Stolen away by Kaufman, but he just couldn't get a handle on it before it was stolen right back by Broadhead. Battled for again on the near side corner. Thrown up to the blue line. Barton can't keep it in. Middle Tennessee has a dangerous three on one. Broadhead down the near side boards. Diving play by Barger forces a terrible shot. And it's blocked away by Caputo. And that will be the end of the second period. Embry Riddle's going to go into the locker room leading by a score of six to two.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set for the start of the third and final period here at the Daytona Ice Arena. Hometown Embry-Riddle Eagles leading by a score of 6-2 over the visiting, visiting Middle Tennessee State University Blue Raiders here in ACHA Collegiate Action. Once again, no carryover penalties nor power plays. Andrew Caputo, who took over at the halfway mark of the second period for Embry-Riddle, will maintain the pipes for Embry-Riddle. Eagles moving left to right this final period across your computer screen in their home white uniforms. Blue and gold trim along the shoulders, elbows, and waist. Middle Tennessee with their goaltender, Andrew Smithson, again starting this third period in their road black uniforms and a quick two-on-one for Emory Riddle, and this one goes past the far side post off the stick of Alex Fowler. And another quick whistle coming with the net being knocked off of its pegs. Middle Tennessee moving from right to left this period. Again, in their road black uniforms, blue trim along the shoulders and waist. Faller trying to gain possession for Embry-Riddle in the far side corner. It's bumped up the wall for Shannon. And Tennessee is able to get it up to the blue line and out. And on the delayed offsides, Embry-Riddle will touch it. And it will be an offside call. Not even 30 seconds into this third and final period of play. Shots 23 to 15 in favor of Embry-Riddle. Faller has that puck stolen away as he crossed the blue line into Blue Raider territory. Mark steals it right back, catching a patch of wet ice. Didn't get a lot on that shot, and it was steered to the far side by the pad of Smithson. Breakout pass intercepted. Here comes Shepard, who fires a shot. He took out his pitching wedge for that one and sent it over the crossbar, almost out of play. Embry Riddle still has possession. They move it up to the blue line for Barton. He sends it into the middle of the slot, and Marks had a shot that goes wide of the near post. Chris Barton with some fort check pressure, steers it below the goal line on the far side for Fowler. Fowler reverses back for Barton. Barton throws it into the middle of the crease and it's skated out by the Blue Raiders, but not until they the, meet the stick of Ryan Marks. He backhands a shot from the slot and it's sick to the far corner. Fowler again with possession, backhands into the middle, one-handed along and skated out of the zone by Middle Tennessee. Shannon unable to deal with a good back check of Fowler but Mitchell will come in on support. And Middle Tennessee will send it off the blocker of Caputo back behind the net. Stretch pass is easily intercepted by Drew when he sends it right back where it came from. And Andrew Caputo will settle it down for Colin Bridges back behind the net. Good four check coming from the Blue Raiders. They try to get possession in their offensive zone, but Jeremy Kirsten is there to settle it down for the Eagles. He escapes out the far side of his net, catches a wet spot on the ice, retreats back to find it, throws it out into the neutral zone, out of danger. Drew sends a pass into the middle, and it gets deflected by Broadhead, and the Eagles will come right back down the near side of the boards. Daniel Sakala streaking down the right wing wall, throws a sharp angle shot to the net, gloved away by Smithson. Kirsten lays a body on his man, but Middle Tennessee is able to get the puck out, deflected along the blue line and it's Broadhead to gain the red line and dump it into the Eagles zone for Middle Tennessee. Rimmed hard around the boards to the near side, gets through everybody, but it's kept in by Dean. At the blue line, she'll send it to the far side half wall. And it's thrown right off the pad of Caputo. Bouncing puck at the blue line, kept in by Wilson. No one is home for Middle Tennessee. So the Eagles will get a bouncer out to the neutral zone. Step up again from Wilson, but this one's given right to a white stick. Kirsten gets around a pair of players, but it's sent right back to the Eagles' blue line. Goes through everybody, and this will go for an icing call against Embry-Riddle. 16.54 to go in the third period of play. 6-2 lead still for Embry-Riddle. We're looking for our first goal of this third period. Middle Tennessee will win the faceoff in their offensive zone. They try to throw a backhander. It was soft 
And it went deflected behind the net. Barger will skate it all the way out to the neutral zone. Has it knocked away from him. Sends it to the near side for Lytle. He can't get a shot off before it's stolen away. Gets it right back. Takes another shot. And it may have gotten a piece of the shoulder of Smithson. Middle Tennessee unable to clear their zone. UCX cycles at the blue line, comes down the near side wall. He's got a man at the far blue line in Barger. UCX evading a couple of checks, but he yields possession to Middle Tennessee, almost taking a hooking penalty, but the referees will let that one slide for now. Brendan Barger sends a chip shot to the near side, looking for Sakala. Sakala will take a check from Butler, and Butler will be taken down, and now we have a scuffle right in the high, right in the neutral zone. And now some more fisticuffs starting to break out. Lytle throws a punch over the referee. Players having to be separated here. It was a, a collision with two players having their heads down. Lytle was definitely the player for Embry-Riddle. I believe it may have been Butler or maybe even Lee, the player for Middle Tennessee. But whoever it was that got knocked down by Lytle was not too pleased with how he got knocked down. Lytle fell on top of him. And whoever that Middle Tennessee player was came up swinging. And you can only be defending yourself to some amount as David Lytle was already breaking away from the pack and threw a punch over the referees and landed one right on the black helmet of one of the Blue Raiders jerseys. So far, there is no penalty time up on the board. Two Tennessee players are in the penalty box. Only one player for Embry-Riddle. So as it stands now in the penalty box, we're looking at a power play for Embry-Riddle. But again, no time has gone up on the board. 16-01 left in the third period. Embry-Riddle leads by a score of 6-2. We'll be back after we sort everything out down on the ice.
And we are all set to go. It looks like it's going to be a Middle Tennessee power play. Two minutes is up on the board for Embry-Riddle. But there's three Tennessee players in the penalty box and only two players in for Embry-Riddle. So I'm not sure if Lytle may have gotten a pair or a trio of penalties just to himself. Not quite sure what the actual penalty layout is, but it is a two minute five on four power play for Middle Tennessee. They trail six to two with 15 and a half to go in the third period. Blue Raiders streaking over the blue line down the far side, looking for a shot, can't find one. They set up their power play in the end zone. Backhanded off the near half wall. Barger sends his man to the boards, but Shannon maintains possession. He takes a shot that gets deflected up by the stick of Turner Kaufman and out of play. Takes 49, or excuse me, 41 seconds off of the penalty time. Shots 24 to 16 in favor of Embry Riddle. Kristinus will lose the faceoff. Ryan Marks gets it back to Barger, but the Eagles are unable to clear it. Shannon sends it down low for Kristinus. Comes back up to the half wall. Shannon walks up to the top of the circle, walks into the middle, moves it far side, takes the shot, and it may have been deflected, but Wilson didn't get anything on it. This shot from the blue line, glove save made by Andrew Caputo, flashes the leather for a shot that came from the direction he already came from. 55 seconds left on the Eagles' penalty kill, and Andrew Caputo keeps this a 6-2 game. Face off on the far side circle. Embry Riddle will win it. They're still on the penalty kill, but Ryan Marks is not going to take that into account. He's going to skate it all the way down the ice. Working against Shannon. He's got follower in the high slot. Takes a backhander. Save is made by Andrew Smithson. 14.42 left in the third period of play. 41 seconds left on the Embry Riddle penalty kill. So we'll see who comes out of the box for Embry-Riddle, and we'll see if everybody comes out after this two minutes is up and a whistle. Once again, not quite sure what the exact penalty layout was, but Middle Tennessee still has 40 seconds left on their power play that they're working on. Mitchell dealing with hard forecheck pressure, and Marks steals it away. Ryan Marks dealing with some defenders in the near side corner, gets help from Fowler. They're gonna kill as much time as they can. Faller tries to get it around a pair of black jerseys, can't do so. And it's sent to the far side for Broadhead. At the Angry Riddle blue line, he'll send it into the far corner. And Barton will backhand it up the far side boards. Faller has possession and he will send it the length of the ice wide of the near side post. And Smithson will leave it for Mitchell to settle down behind the Middle Tennessee net. And that'll be the end of the Middle Tennessee power play. We're back to five on five. And it was number 19, Richard Means, serving one of the two minute minors, but we are back to five on five play. On the near side, half wall, Tennessee unable to get it out of the zone. Finally on the second effort they do, Kirsten can't keep it in at the blue line. Barton blocks a shot coming from the near side half wall. Blue Raiders send it into the corner, thrown sharp angle shot, blocker save is made by Caputo and he hangs on to the rebound for a whistle with 13.34 left in the third period. Still a six to two lead for Embry-Riddle. Middle Tennessee will win the faceoff back for Shannon and he almost has it stolen away at the blue line but he maintains possession into the near corner. And the Blue Raiders working it to the middle of the ice, looking for a shot in the slot, stolen away by Usiak, and he's got a two on one. He's got Sakala streaking to the middle. Usiak throws it through the crease, and Sakala couldn't get a stick on it. Thrown off the boards, good step in from laps. He fires a shot that's blocked away as Kristinus lost his stick behind the net. Or excuse me, the goaltender lost his stick, and Kristinus gave his stick up to Smithson. Back comes Embry-Riddle out into the neutral zone. Kirsten streaking over the blue line, cuts into the high slot, looking for a shot, can't find it. Shannon steals it away from him. 
Back the other way, Blake Neiman comes in, can't deal with the, with the back check pressure of Kerson, and UCF will streak down the right wing wall, deals with the good defensive work of Dean. On the far side half wall, it's a four on three battle, players tumbling over there. But regardless, it is gonna be an icing play against the Blue Raiders and the faceoff's gonna come all the way back down into the Middle Tennessee defending zone with 12.24 to go in the third period. Still no goal found in this third period of play. But there have been plenty of goals scored throughout the first two periods. Embry-Riddle leads six to two. At the blue line, a long shot comes in. Bad save had to be made by Smithson. Bishkoff sends it into the corner. He's got Kaufman. Kaufman sends it into the low slot. Kaufman with good moves trying to get possession. Sends it to the far side for Bishkoff. Thrown into the middle, but it gets deflected to the high slot in Middle Tennessee. will skate it out into the neutral zone. Fleckenstein tries to bat it around. Barger gets it into the high slot. But it's sent right back into the neutral zone. Kept under Middle Tennessee possession. Collier sends it far side. And Embry-Riddle will settle it in their own defending zone. Comes into the middle off the skate of Kaufman. And now Barger will steal it away at his own blue line. Skates down the right wing wall. Looks over an option. Takes a slap shot. Easy glove save made by Smithson. And he hangs on to that one with 11.34 left in the third period. Still a 6-2 lead for Embry-Riddle. Shots 24 to 18 in favor of the Eagles. Top line out for Embry-Riddle. Shot comes right in off the faceoff. Marks pushed it right in on goal and a stick save was made by Smithson. Over on the far side corner, Marks trying to step off the wall, gets it down low to Faller, but it's stolen away by Christenus. Rims it up the far side wall, kept in at the blue line by Embry-Riddle. Shot gets deflected in the high crease. But it's sent out of danger by Middle Tennessee up to the far half wall. Shannon's pass attempt goes off the boards and it comes all the way out to the blue line. Onside play, Christianus into the high slot, goes off the pad of Caputo. And Ryan Marks will skate it out, goes to the far side for Faller. Faller gets his toe drag to work once, but he can't get it around his defender. Faller still has possession back behind the net, looking for a pass up to the blue line for Barton. Barton sends it back down low for Faller, takes a pass to the far side, but it's deflected over the stick of Marks, and the Blue Raiders will come right back the other way. Shannon loses the puck at the blue line, and a back-checking Ryan Marks has it stolen away at the blue line, but not before he can dump it out into the neutral zone. But it's sent right back in on goal, where Andrew Caputo will steer it to the near side corner for Barton. Kyle Usiak from his knees will send it to Jordan Shepard, and as... As it trickled in on goal, Andrew Smithson was able to steer it out into the Embry-Riddle zone off of his goal stick. And now a couple of players losing possession in the neutral zone gives it up to Kyle Usiak, looking for a shot, but a good back check was made by Jacob Fink. And Kerson walks off the boards, takes a shot right into the midsection, rebound in the crease, and it goes to the far side corner. Eagles still have possession. Backhanded down low into the corner for Usiak. Tries to force it into the middle, nothing was there, and Fink will... Throw it off the far side boards, but it's again kept in by Embry-Riddle. Usiak trying to walk in off the half wall. He's got no options. S slowly skates down below the goal line. Deflected off a centering pass. Still loose in the crease. Backhanded shot was blocked down by Middle Tennessee. Kick to the near side, but it's unable to be cleared out by the Blue Raiders. Pass into the middle for Usiak. Backhands it to the middle, and a save was made off the right pad of Smithson. Eagles are swarming here in the Middle Tennessee zone. Kirsten steps in to keep it in at the blue line. And Lapp sends a shot right in. Good stick save made by the Middle Tennessee defender. A wide open net. And the Blue Raiders are just going to have to send it the length of the ice. It will not make it to the goal line, so play is going to continue. But Middle Tennessee will make a three-man line change. Great offensive pressure on that shift from Embry-Riddle. And now they're going to have to get it out of their own zone. They will, but only as far as the red line. And Mitchell will send it right back into the near side corner as Middle Tennessee finishes up their line change. 8.50 to go in the third period. Eagles trying to clear it out, Kirsten can't do so. And now Ebner from his backside will send it up to the blue line for Means. Means working one on two, loses his stick after taking a body check and moving the puck below the Middle Tennessee goal line. 
Puck turned over to Embry-Riddle, tries to be thrown in front, but it hit the back of the net. And the Blue Raiders will bring it up to the blue line, but not out, hit the shin pad of Kaufman, and finally it gets out into the neutral zone, but it stays under Embry-Riddle possession. Kaufman down the far side boards, looking over his options, has a man in front, elects to hang out to it, up to the blue line, Bishkov with a shot, didn't get hardly anything on that, so it careens to the near corner, under Bishkov's possession again. Richard Means back behind the net, throws it to the far corner for Kaufman. Eight minutes to go in the third period. Players battling for it, Bishkov has it, gets it up to the blue line, Barger walks to the blue line, middle, throws it, good screen in front. And now the Middle Tennessee goaltender shoving a man down to the ice. 7.47 left in the third. Good net front presence from Alec Bishkov on the shot from Brendan Barger, but a better save was made by Andrew Smithson. Top line out for Embry-Riddle on the near side faceoff in their Eagles offensive zone. Ryan Marks wins the faceoff back. Barton sends it to the far side for Ebner and his pass goes off the high glass and it does collect its way to the near side. Barton with a shot, gets deflected, loose on the goal line and a save had to be made by Middle Tennessee. Everybody getting help as Andrew Smithson was swimming around in his crease, got help from his defenders. Fowler brings it right back into the offensive zone, up top for Shepard, he fires a shot right into the midsection of Smithson. And he again hangs on for a whistle with 7.17 left in the third period. Still a six to two lead for Embry-Riddle. Eagles will finish up their line change. Chris Denus will win the faceoff for Middle Tennessee over to the far side. And Shannon will backhand it up into the neutral zone for King. King sent down to the ice by Means and that will give possession to Embry Riddle. Thrown off the far side boards in front of the Eagles bench, but it's deflected back into the Eagles zone. Ebner with a stretch pass that gets deflected by Means and sent into the Middle Tennessee zone. Dean will send it to the far side for Shannon. Shannon bumps it into the middle for Christenus, and he's got a partial three on two down the far side. Shannon has it stolen away on a good back check, and now Bishkov at the blue line. He's knocked down to the ice. He's unable to get the puck out. Christenus trying to walk in off the boards, and it's given right back to Embry-Riddle with six and a half to go in the period. Six to two lead for Embry-Riddle, trying to close it out here in the dying minutes of the final frame. Wyatt Ebner takes a shot. Routine save made by Andrew Smithson. No rebound given up with 6.20 to go in the third period. Shots 27-20 in favor of the Eagles. Kaufman wins it back to the blue line. Connor Lapp sends it down low for Sakala. He takes a sharp angle shot going wide of the post, but Smithson wasn't taking a chance and he gloved it down before it went behind the net. Seven seconds off the clock brings the clock to 6.13. Kaufman again with a faceoff win. Laps at the blue line, takes a shot blocked in front by a body and it comes all the way back for a shot that had to be stopped by Smithson again. Long shot, blockered away. And now Embry-Riddle looking for a chance. That one goes off the outside of the net, looking for a wraparound, takes a shot. And Turner Kaufman took out his nine iron for that shot, sent it up into the netting and out of play over everybody. 5.46 to go in the third period. Six to two lead for Embry-Riddle. They finished up their line change.
At the blue line, Malcheski sends a shot wide of the goal. And they will cover the puck up for a faceoff on the far side circle. 5.41 to go in the third period. Middle Tennessee will have possession off of the faceoff, back behind their own net. They escape out the far side, but not before it's stolen away by the Eagles. They have a man at the blue line in laps. He takes a shot, that gets through, but it's blocked away by Smithson. And Middle Tennessee will come right back the other way. At the red line, they lose possession, comes to the near boards, and the Blue Raiders will just chip it in on the delayed offsides. Stretch pass up to the far blue line. And Lytle is met there by a shoulder of a black jersey. UCAC comes in for support. Unable to maintain eagle possession and it comes back out for Broadhead. Moves it around Barger, but a good second effort by the stick of Barger sends the puck up to the blue line and a shot comes in and out of the glove of Caputo who hasn't seen a shot in quite some time. Able to make that save from a long blue line. Eagles trying to get it up, it's Curson. Curson dealing with a good back check, and this one's thrown on a clearing attempt off a of Middle Tennessee body. Thrown off the glass for a third attempt on a clear, and Friedenberger can't get it out. Lytle in the high slot takes a shot. That's blocked away by Wilson, and Friedenberger will have a second chance to skate it all the way into the Eagles zone. He will do just that into the high slot. Takes a shot, a riser that went over the crossbar behind Caputo. And now we're going to have a delayed penalty call. Looks like it's going to be a high stick. Not quite sure who it's on. I believe Embry-Riddle may have had possession when the whistle was blown. It is a high sticking penalty and it will go against Embry-Riddle. It's gonna be number 22, David Lytle. He will get two minutes for high sticking with four minutes and 20 seconds to go. In the third period of play, that sees Embry-Riddle leading by a score of six to two. Chris Denuse is going to try to win this back for Middle Tennessee. And the Blue Raiders will have possession off of the faceoff in the far side circle in the Embry-Riddle defensive zone. Middle Tennessee has the fresh two minute power play. Looking for a stuff attempt, it went off the outside of the net. Caputo may have gotten a piece of it with his pad and the clearing attempt went up out of play. 4-0-1 left in the third period. Faceoff will migrate to the near side circle. Still in the Embry-Riddle offensive zone. 142 to go in the Eagles penalty kill. Jordan Shepard will win the faceoff back. Barger can't get it out of the zone. Mitchell at the blue line will send it to the half wall for Shannon. He has it stolen away. Sent off the boards and Barger wanted to race into that one. But realizing he's on the penalty kill will stop up and allow Middle Tennessee to retreat behind their own net to set up their power play breakout. Comes to the near side for Mitchell and out of his own high slot. His pass gets deflected by Fle Fleckerson. Barger fakes the clearing attempt. Now he will send it all the way down the ice may have gotten a piece of the glove of Mitchell. Oh, that was close! Hit the net! On the near side half wall, Shannon sends it back down low for Chris Danus. Rimmed around the far side boards looking for Mitchell, but it's stolen away. And Emory Riddle will send it right back into the middle Tennessee zone. Saucer pass doesn't connect with anyone, so Barger at the blue line of his own zone will send it all the way down on goal. And Mitchell will settle it down behind his own net with three minutes to go in the game. Fans on the clearing attempt. Mitchell dealing with hard forecheck pressure, steers it to the far side corner and eventually sends it off the near side boards for Chris Denus at the red line. Leaves it for Shannon, who's got some speed down the near side boards, but it's knocked away from him by Barger. Now it's Colin Bridges with a clearing attempt. That failed at the blue line. Middle Tennessee sends it up for Dean. She fires a shot. Knocked down in front. Caputo unable to get to the far side post before Middle Tennessee 
cuts the lead in half. It is now a six to three lead for Embry-Riddle. Still 229 left in this third period. That shot from Dean got deflected and Caputo was unable to get to the far side post before the Blue Raiders found the back of the net. The only goal we've seen in this third period by either team, all eight previous goals coming in the first two frames of this evening's match. Let's go, White, get it back! Eagles will have possession off the center ice faceoff after the power play goal from Middle Tennessee. 2.23 to go in the game. Thrown off the far side boards, kept in by Middle Tennessee, finally thrown back out into the neutral zone, streaking into it was Kaufman, but the Middle Tennessee goaltender came out to stop that play from happening. Onside play, Fink is knocked Whoa! off the puck, but it comes right into the high slot. Shot from Butler had to be blocked by Ebner. Players will battle for possession on the near side corner again. Eagles will have it coming out, it's Kaufman. At the red line, he'll get around his man. Kaufman on the backhand looking for a shot, passes it through the crease and it goes to the far side corner. Bishkoff is there, leaves it for Kaufman. Backhands into the middle, stick save made. Still in the low slot, finally it creams to the far half wall, comes up to the blue line for Ebner. Backhands it down low away from the blue line to the half wall. Blue Raiders will skate it out to the neutral zone. It's Alyssa Dean. Dean will skate down the far side board. And it comes out into the middle looking for a backhand shot. They can't find it. And now a high sticking penalty is going to be called against Middle Tennessee. As Neiman's stick came up just a little too high. And Embry Riddle will be on the power play for the last 1 minute and 13 seconds of this third period. And that will just about do it for the final nail in the coffin. That is... Middle Tennessee. Six to three lead for Embry Riddle and the Eagles will finish this game on the power play unless they can get their seventh goal of the game and finish the touchdown. Embry Riddle leads by a score, or excuse me, on the shots, 30 to 21 so far. Having just about 59 minutes played in this game. UCF has that one stolen away but it's kept in at the blue line by Barger. And Shepard will settle it down below the goal line. Escapes out the far side to the half wall. Ebner sends it right back to him. And it comes near side half wall for Barger. He takes a sharp angle. Shot and it goes in. Brendan Barger fires home. Embry Riddle's seventh goal of the game on the power play. It is now a 7-3 lead for Embry Riddle. 57.2 seconds left in the third period on another power play goal from Embry Riddle. <laughs> Middle Tennessee will have possession, but they give it right back to Embry Riddle off the faceoff. Usiak walks into the high slot, can't get a shot off. He was being harassed from behind by a trio of black jerseys. Lee will have it for Middle Tennessee, throws it off the near boards. Barger steps up at the red line, keeps possession for Embry Riddle. At the blue line, he's met by Kristinus. Barger doing good work on keeping the play at least at the Embry Riddle offensive blue line. And Ebner with another step up, brings the puck back into the Middle Tennessee zone. Usiak evades the check, leaves it for Sakala. Sakala walks in, fires a shot into the midsection, and they will hang on for a whistle with 19.4 seconds left in the game. At the blue line, Ebner sends a shot in. Pat save made. Usiak was there for a backhander, but a good defensive play was made by Dylan Lee. Usiak wanting one more goal. Cuts right into the slot. Save is made, and the net has been knocked off of its pegs. With 7.6 seconds left in the third period. So Embry Riddle's, Riddle's record will improve to 6-5-1-1. That'll get them 14 points on the season. 
This puck is going to be sent out into the neutral zone. Fleckenstein wanting one final crack at Andrew Caputo, but he's not even going to get it as his shot went over the crossbar. And Embry-Riddle is going to continue their strong play at home, improve to 6-5, 1-1, after defeating Middle Tennessee State University by a score of 7-3. We thank you for joining us here on the Embry-Riddle broadcast here on YouTube.com. I'm Nick Gimble. Once again, we thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.